Good evening, friends. Let me first of all wish each and every one of you a very happy new year. May 2019 be full of health, happiness and success for all of you and your families. Unfortunately, my voice uh, is not the best today and Dr. Sarvashri Arora has advised complete rest to my voice, so I'll be, I'll be rather brief today. Uh, I'm happy that Anandji has already done part of my speech by explaining to you why we meet on January 9 to celebrate Pravasi Bhargi Devas because it marks the return of the greatest Pravasi of the Lord Mahatma Gandhi to India from a soldier in South Africa in 1915. I would also like to thank the IEEC for being our partners tonight and organizing this beautiful event with the participation of so many of you. Having been in Canada for just under two years, I know how difficult it is to get the community on a non-weekend. And today is a Wednesday, and yet we see a full hall. So thank you, Ken Dalbar, and the entire team at IEEC for bringing everybody together, for inviting all the Indian community organizations in Ottawa to share with us in the celebration of the Pravasi Bharti Divas. Today is a special day. Ordinarily, all of you need to come to the embassy for consular work, visa work, to meet the High Commissioner or the Deputy High Commissioner to get some information on the consular side or the community side or the, or the commercial side. But today, the High Commissioner has come to you. Because not only am I here, my entire top team is here with you. So, from the High Commission today, I am bringing to you three I's. What are the three I's? The first I is introductions. So let me introduce to you my top team. So I have with me Mr. Vijay Bhatia. Vijay, please stand up. Vijay has just arrived from India and he is the replacement of Mr. Parab Jain. And he is Minister in Charge of Community Affairs. Of course, all of you know my deputy, Sri Arun Kumar Sahu, uh, the Deputy High Commissioner, who is the Deputy then we have Vidhu Shekhar. Vidhu is our counselor for consular affairs. So he's actually the more, most important person, more important than the High Commissioner because he can get you the visa, which I can get. <laughs> then we have with us the head of our commercial wing and the head of Chancery, Sri Rakesh Mohan. And so those of you who have attended the commercial event that we have organized would know him well. And of course we have the Officer in Charge of Community Affairs, Sri Sri Sharma. He is the Second Secretary for Community, Press, Information, Education and Culture. So this is the first I, the introductions. The second I is inspiration. Our job here is to inspire you a little bit to connect more with India. And why you should connect more with India, we will explain to you in more detail. And the third I is the most important I, information. We are here to provide you with information about India, about our visa processes, about our consular processes, about the various schemes that we have for the Indian diaspora in Canada in particular. And that will be done by Shri Vidhu Shekhar uh, together with our Deputy High Commissioner Shri Arun Sahu who will handle the Q&A session. Now today is a day that is dedicated to the diaspora. The Pravasi Bharti Divas is a divas for the Indian diaspora. And the diaspora is today 30 million strong. You know, there are many countries whose whole population, Iceland's whole population is 300,000. And we have 30 million persons of Indian origin or non-resident Indians who are living outside India. So it's a huge diaspora. And 1.6 million of this 30 million is right here in Canada. The figures we have is, says 1.4 million are Indo-Canadians with Canadian passports and 240,000 Indo-Canadians with Indian passports. So if you add the two, we get about 106 million. And why is the diaspora important? The diaspora is important for a variety of reasons. First and foremost, the diaspora is a source of remittances. Do you know how much did the Indian diaspora remit back to India last year? 80 billion dollars. The highest in the world. So, Million dollars worth of remittances come to India annually from the Indian diaspora, which is no mean achievement. Secondly, the diaspora helps in accelerating technological development, 
transferring knowledge and fostering innovation because of the skill set, the unique skill set that the Indian diaspora has acquired internationally in so many other countries. And finally, the diaspora acts as India's unofficial ambassadors. Just as Mahatma Gandhi was the greatest ambassador of peace, non-violence, and truth during his time, today the Indian diaspora has become the ambassadors of the new India. The Pravasi is the most significant example of India's soft power today. Through your work abroad as software engineers, tech wizards, eminent academics, poets, trade building business persons, a clear and powerful message of India's capabilities has been conveyed to the world. Your honest work ethic, law abiding, and hard working nature have contributed to the global image of India and Indians. Most important of all, you have kept, you have retained a bit of India in your hearts. Even though all of you are living thousands of miles away from India, you have kept the spirit of Bharat alive in your adopted homes. And the place that we are meeting Rina itself is an example. You know, they, they provide naans and they provide uh, you know Indian curries and they, you know Indian cuisine itself is a great example of Indian soft power. So today, the Pravasi Bharti Divas, just as from the High Commission side, it is about the three I's. For all of you, the Pravasi Bharti Divas is about the three C's. What are the three C's? The first C is connect. The Pravasi Bharti Divas is a platform meant to connect you more closely to your, you know, motherland for some people, those who came from India, were born in India, and then but for the second generation, India may not be the mother and certainly a country with which they will have close association. And we have various platforms and various methods through which we foster the sense of connectedness. And Vidhu in his presentation is going to talk about them. You know, we have a program known as the No India Program, which many people do not know about, under which children of the diaspora between the ages of 18 and 35 are sent on a two to three week tour of India at entirely government of India's expense. You pay only 10% of the airfare, that's it. And we expose you to modern India, to traditional India, to ancient India. We expose you to the political leadership of India, to the culture and heritage of India. Similarly, we have started this quiz called the Bharat Pajani quiz, which just concluded and which was participated by more than 50,000 diaspora members from across the world. We have, of course, the Overseas Citizenship of India card and with who is going to talk to you in greater detail about that. And of course the e-visa, by which the entire interface with India has been made so much easier. You don't even have to come to a consulate or to a high commission. You can just apply from the comfort of your home, from your laptop, the, from your computer, the message, the request goes straight to the Indian Ministry of Home Affairs, and within 72 hours, you get a travel authorization to travel to India. So that is the first C, connect. The second C is celebrate. This is a, a platform for you to celebrate India, to celebrate the culture and heritage of India, the many accomplishments of modern India. You know, we have a government that is working day in and day out to make India a modern nation, to bring India at par with international standards in so many different fields. We have now even created a repository for the Pravasi Bhartiyas in the form of the Pravasi Bharti Kim, which is a state-of-the-art center in New Delhi, that all of you, when you go to uh, India next, I would definitely urge you to, to visit. And finally, the third C is contribute. Today is a day for us to exhort you, the Indian diaspora, to become more active contributors to the India development story. And there are various platforms that we have created to enable you to do that. We have a platform called Vajra, by which you can contribute to the R&D ecosystem in India. We have a platform for, called Gyan, the Global Initiative of Academic Networks, by which professors and teachers in uh, top academic institutions abroad can, you know, in their spare time or in their summer months, holidays, can go and teach um, at Indian faculties anywhere in India. And of course, overseas Indians are always encouraged to send contributions for implementation of our flagship social and development projects in India, such as Clean Ganga, Swachh Bharat, etc. 
So this evening is really about the three I's from our side and the three C's from your side. And I hope that as a result of this gathering, the bonds between the diaspora and India and the bonds between the High Commission and all of you will be further enriched and strengthened. And this is not a one-way suit. We are not here to give you one-way transmission that, okay, this is what the government of India has done, this is what we can do, this is what you can do. This is for us to listen to you also. Consider this as an open house, where the entire top team of the High Commission is here, and all of you can convey your suggestions and as to how we can improve our services better, what are the areas in which we still need to improve on. We believe that we deliver a pretty decent uh, service, but you know everything is not in our control sometimes. So it is good for us to get this feedback. So after the presentation by Mr. Vidhu Shekhar, there will be a detailed Q&A, uh, during which time you can present any concerns or questions that you may have, and we will try to answer it to the best of our ability. So with that, as I said, I have completely ignored the advice of uh, Dr. Arora and spoken longer than I intended to. But thank you once again for being here this evening, for joining us in this shared celebration of the Pravasi Bharti Divas, because this is indeed a true partnership between you and us. And through this partnership, we want to show, we want to show that there is no difference between you and us, that we are all part of this one global family. And all of us, you know, uh, are Indians at heart, some of us are Indians by, uh, you know, by citizenship, some of you know, the color of your passports may be different, but I think we are all joined today by a shared sense of being. Thank you and have a good day.